Hi class, uh, I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about uh, Google uh, Hangout and illustrate for you a way that Google Hangout might be useful as you collaborate with your classmates on uh, uh, solving some of the math tasks for our class or if, when you're collaborating to create your lesson plans. And I've recruited a good buddy of mine, Michael Marr, to uh, chat with me and I'd like to share with him uh, some of the drawing features in uh, Google uh, Hangout. So you'll notice here I'm on my main Google page and uh, I'm logged in and if you look on the top bar over here to the far left it says plus Todd you'll see something similar for your account plus uh, your name. If you click on that that takes you to Google Plus and you'll notice uh, now that we're in Google Plus on the far left side you'll notice that there are some different tools here available to you and one of them happens to be Google Hangouts if this doesn't appear in your toolbar I'll, I'll remove it from mine if you go down to the more option you'll see Hangouts uh, as one of the features if you click on it it will add Hangouts to your toolbar on the left and by clicking on it, it takes you to the Hangouts window. What I'm going to do here right now is start a Hangout with Michael Marr. So I'm going to click on the Start a Hangout button. And it takes a minute to load. You should see a uh, in a few moments uh, contacts that you have uh, that are online. And in my case, I'm going to go ahead and uh, click here where it says uh, invite people. I'm going to paste in Michael's email address. And then I'm going to name the Hangout uh, EDT265 uh, test. And by clicking on the Hangout uh, button here at the bottom, that will send Michael an invitation to chat with me uh, using Google Plus, using the Google Plus Hangouts tool. So notice it says waiting for people to enter the Hangout. So by the way, I happen to be on the phone with Michael as well. Michael, did you see the invitation? Sweet. I'm going to hang up with you on the phone now. Okay. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Michael, this is good. I'm hanging up on the phone too. Oh no, you hung up for me. <laughs> okay, cool. So uh, there's something I'd like to share with you called uh, Scoot and Doodle, of all things. Have you heard of this before? I have not. Okay. Uh, do you notice at the top of your the chat screen, do you notice where it says Add App? Does that do appear in your screen too? It does. Would you do me a favor and click on that? And you should see, see if you probably see a list of different apps, correct? Like YouTube and all this stuff. Yeah. Oh, I see Scoot and Doodle. Yeah. Do you see Scoot and Doodle? Do me a favor and click on Scoot and Doodle to add it to this Hangout. All right. Done. Okay. Now, when you do that, kind of describe for me what you see. Is it asking for permission to use a connection or anything like that? Yeah, it's, it's ready to start, and I'm looking forward to. It says that we can laugh, play, create, and draw together simultaneously. <laughs> we can. Good. Now, now. This is the laughing part. My thought of about this tool is um, this might be a handy way for us to discuss some math items together. Like we can draw on a whiteboard together using it. So what I want to do is see if test this out and see if it will actually work with us. I'm really keeping my fingers crossed. So I'm going to click on the Scoot and Doodle. Do you see a Scoot and Doodle like tab along the top of your of our chat window now? Uh, I do. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Okay, I just drew something in there. You did. Okay, I'm going to I've just clicked on it. I want to see if I see what you've drawn. So I have to click the start button. Did you click a start button earlier? I clicked the start button already. Okay. Oh my gosh. I see your equation. And so 
I'm going to change my brush size here. And I noticed that that X looks more like a lambda, so we don't want to confuse the children's. No. And this looks good. So let's say I were interested, I'm interested in looking at this problem from my problem set that has a right triangle in it. And let's say the length of this leg is three. And this hypotenuse is five. How would you go about uh, finding the length of this unknown side? Um, is this this is this is a right angle here? It is. Oh, I'm on the eraser. Sorry. Uh, mark me. Mark for me the mark. Do me a favor and can you use the blue pen and mark for me the fact yeah, that that is a right angle. That's what I'm trying to do. Describe for me what you did to get that to work. Uh, so I clicked on brush, and then I clicked on the, the kind of the blue circle. Okay, so I noticed there's a brush tool, a stamps tool, an eraser. I guess clear would erase the entire screen. We can right. save these pictures as a, a probably a JPEG for later. Maybe if you were going to submit sure. homework, it would be nice. There's also right. a thing called a bubble. Uh, so I guess that's for adding comments or something, maybe? Can you, I wonder with the bubble, can I type something in? Oh, I like that. I clicked, hey, I like your solution. But, hey, there it is. I could see some pedagogical uses for this as well. Yeah, I like that. I'm thinking... Uh, but it's also nice that I don't feel like I have to. Um, uh, I don't have to, to draw by hand. I can type things, and that makes a big difference. Yeah. Yeah, I've got to go to campus in a few minutes. Yeah, I got to go too. But I appreciate your help. All right, no problem. Yeah. Bye, bye, Michael. All right, talk to you soon. Okay. Ciao. Bye. So that's basically Google Plus Hangouts in a nutshell. Uh, as we learn more about ways to incorporate uh, graphics into the into the uh, discussion, we'll let you know.